our ASH 2015 coverage continues. I'm Thomas Baldrick. Happy to have with us right now Dr. Francesca Scapati right. from the Icon School of Medicine in New York City. I love coming here and getting all these international names and the challenges of saying them. It's, it's fun. <laughs> yes. Thanks for being here. Thank you. As a young investigator, your research interests are in myodysplastic syndromes. What attracted you to this area? Uh, actually, it's a very interesting area uh, for, uh, for research because we don't have uh, many drugs for, uh, for these patients, so it's, very, it's a very challenging area for, uh, for study uh, mechanisms of uh, pathogenesis also because we don't know many things about uh, these, these diseases and this can improve uh, research also for uh, discovering new drugs when you know better the mechanism of the disease and all the components, especially the inflammatory component, which I was interested the most and I focused my research on, uh, you can find also more targets for, for therapies. So this is very challenging. Let's talk about the poster you presented yeah. here at ASH. So the poster was about the use of uh, IVIG, the intravenous immunoglobulin, for the treatment of immune cytopenias in uh, MDS patients or in general in bone marrow failure syndromes. Uh, in, in these patients in particular, we found that uh, they had a T-cell clone that could be um, responsible for the immune manifestations in these patients and so we choose uh, to treat men uh, with um, an immunosuppressive therapy that could be uh, feasible in these patients and also uh, that could be combined to their specific therapy for, uh, for MDS, like for example in two patients we were able to continue isocytidine and treat their uh, immune manifestations with uh, IVIG. What did you think were the key findings? Well, the key findings uh, are that uh, the treatment is feasible and 88% of the patients responded on, on cytopenia, uh, which is a, a very good result, and many of them had a very prolonged uh, result. And another good thing was that uh, some of these patients who were in, on a steroid treatment for a long time with the comorbidities related to a chronic steroid therapy were able to uh, withdraw the um, steroids because they benefited from IVIG, which are much less, they have much less uh, side effects. So th this was a very good thing. And another insight is that IVIG has been thought to be useful for uh, autoimmune disease in terms of uh, humoral immunity, so out antibodies, but actually there are evidence that um, also cellular immunity, so T cell mediated immunity can benefit from uh, IVIG treatment and this is a clinical uh, indirect demonstration, so it would be very interesting to do also molecular, molecular or more uh, experiments uh, in these patients to see uh, which was the mechanism that um, lead to, led to the uh, response. Do you see IVIG having an important role for yeah, these patients? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, yes. Very good. Thanks for joining us. We Thank appreciate you. it. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Okay.